Lucy in the sky with asteroids. In L minus 34 minutes, this Atlas V rocket will send Lucy on the first ever space mission to study the Trojan asteroid. <laughs> বৃহস্পতির কক্ষপথে থাকা গ্রহাণু ট্রোজান নিয়ে দীর্ঘ বারো বছরের একটি মিশন করতে যাচ্ছে নাসা প্রথমবারের মতো নাসার লুসি মিশন বৃহস্পতি গ্রহে প্রদক্ষিণকারী একটি গ্রহাণু ট্রোজানের সন্ধানে যাচ্ছে দীর্ঘ এই বারো বছরের সফরের জন্য নাসার লুসি মহাকারযান উৎক্ষেপণ হতে চলছে বৃহস্পতি এবং মঙ্গলের মাঝে অসংখ্য গ্রহাণু সূর্যকে কেন্দ্র করে ঘুরে আর এদের মধ্যে যে সব গ্রহাণু বৃহস্পতির কক্ষপথকে ঘিরে ঘুরে তাদেরকে ট্রোজান বলে Lucy mission is named after the Lucy fossil, the Australopithecus fossil that was discovered in the 1970s in Ethiopia. And just like the Lucy fossil transformed our understanding of hominid evolution, the Lucy mission will transform our understanding of solar system evolution. NASA মনে করে এই মিশনের ফলে ট্রোজানের কাঠামো অবস্থান এবং সৌরজগৎ সম্পর্কে আরও বিস্তারিত পর্যবেক্ষণ করা সম্ভব হবে বলে এমন করছেন নাসা কর্তৃপক্ষ The instrument's ability to see faint targets from far away also makes it perfect for optical navigation. The LORI will help Lucy navigate to a point in space and then a terminal tracking camera aboard the spacecraft known as T2CAM will help the instruments accurately point towards the targets. Johansson, we named that asteroid in honor of the researcher who found the Lucy fossil. We're going to use that asteroid to do a rehearsal on our spacecraft to make sure everything is working properly so that when we get to the Trojan asteroids, we're ready to go. We're visiting both of the Trojan swarms. In the first orbit, we're going into the leading swarm and we're going to encounter four Trojan targets. Ear babies, Palome, Lucas, and Oris. And from this, we're going to sample the diversity in sizes and colors and compositions. The first two flybys happen just about 30 days apart, so it's going to be a pretty busy kickoff to the season of exploring the asteroids in the L4 swarm. And then we'll fly past Earth again and out to the L5 swarm. The final object we're visiting, which I must admit is my favorite, is a binary object. So that's two Trojans that orbit a common center of mass. It's called Patroclus and Menetius. These objects are nearly identical in size that orbit one another. From the Lucy mission, we're going to study the diversity of our targets because that tells us something about their origin and where they came from. The interesting thing about small bodies in general is they are the leftovers of planet formation. If you look at the eight planets that we know about, for example, they are highly processed because of internal processing. These asteroids are objects that really haven't changed much from when the planets assembled themselves. And as a result, by studying them, we can figure out the physical conditions of the early solar system as well as how the planets grew and how they moved around early on. All of that will help us form a detailed picture of what these objects really look like. Because right now, our best images are just a point of light. Even using the Hubble Space Telescope or adaptive optics on the that orbits each other. So in order to look at, make all those comparisons, we needed to go past eight asteroids. Kathy, thank you so much. It sounds so exciting. And honestly, it's so, we're so lucky because the weather looks so great right now. Right, Daryl? Venting and uh, having the condensation appear around the rocket as we would typically expect. So everything healthy and, and on track. Uh, like Daryl just mentioned, we will hear from Omar Baez, the NASA launch manager. He'll be polling the NASA team so that he can in turn report out on the ULA launch conductor poll that will happen a few minutes later. Uh, so that should happen right here at L minus 13 minutes. Let's listen in for that now. For the প্রথম পৃথিবীকে ঘিরে দুইবার প্রদক্ষিণ করবে তারপর ট্রোজানের দিকে ছুটে যাবে এছাড়া দুই সালে বৃহস্পতি এবং মঙ্গলের মাঝামাঝিতে অন্য একটি গ্রহের পাশ দিয়ে যাওয়ার সময় স্পেসক্রাফ্টটির যন্ত্রাংশ আরেকটিবার পরীক্ষা করা হবে 
2033 সাল পর্যন্ত পুরো কাজ শেষ করতে পারবে বলে আশা করছে নাসা আর মহাকাশের নিজস্ব স্টেশন বানাতে চীনের এটি হবে দ্বিতীয় অভিযান So this spacecraft is going out 530 million miles away from the sun. That's far and it takes a careful orbit to get there. Yes, what happens is that moment of rollout. So that was a really cool opportunity awesome. that you had. All right, we are uh inside of El Lift off. Atlas 5 takes flight, sending Lucy to uncover the fossils of our solar system. Tower clear. ইতিমধ্যে তিন চীনা নবসারী আন্তর্জাতিক স্পেস স্টেশনে জায়গা না পেয়ে তাদের নিজস্ব তৈরি করা স্পেস স্টেশন কোর মডিউলে করে তিয়ানোহে পৌঁছেছে গ্রহাণুগুলি গ্রহের গঠন থেকে অবশিষ্ট ছোট দেহের একটি আকর্ষণীয় অংশ এবং তারা প্রায় ষাট ডিগ্রি দ্বারা বৃহস্পতিকে তার কক্ষপথে নেতৃত্ব বা অনুসরণ করে যাচ্ছে আপনি যদি শুধু সূর্যের মহাকর্ষী আকর্ষণের দিকে তাকান এবং বৃহস্পতির সামনে ঠিক ষাট ডিগ্রির মধ্যে কিছু রাখেন তাহলে তা চিরস্থায়ীভাবে সেখানে একই অবস্থায় থাকবে সুতরাং ফলস্বরূপ এই বস্তুগুলো আসলে গ্রহ গঠনের অবশিষ্টাংশ ক্রমবর্ধমান বৃহস্পতি এবং শনিতে এখন পর্যন্ত যে জিনিসগুলো গিয়েছিল তা এখনো একই অবস্থায় সেখানে আটকা পড়ে আছে So beautiful launch sequence there. Uh, we do have uh, another minute and a half or so to go with the booster in operation, uh, getting uh, loose. They're now just under three minutes into flight. Atlas is 33 miles in altitude, 59 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,600 miles per hour. So Lucy being lifted up out of the atmosphere by the booster, getting on its way into a park orbit, uh, 
before we get towards uh, as first stage vehicle systems are operating as expected at this time future uh, future portions of the launch activity we have the, the centaur multiple burns ahead and spacecraft separation and the big milestone we should see josh coming up is booster engine cutoff which would be the first stage cutoff and then stage the main separation. engine is now throttling to maintain a constant 5g acceleration limit we're going to see a few things happen pretty rapidly. The, the booster will cut off just after four minutes. And then within the next 15 seconds after that, we should see the Atlas separate from the Centaur and then the Centaur engine ignite for its first burn. Centaur has begun the boost phase children sequence. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit. Boost phase children sequence has completed. And we have Pico booster engine cutoff and a successful stage separation event. So what you're seeing on screen is an animation that's being driven by actual telemetry. Booster on the RL-10. So we are watching these things uh, in an animation happen here, but they're happening in real time as well. And as that's one. We have ignition for the first burn. All right, so there we go. Uh, we should see the, fair, the fairing jettison here. We have indication of good tail of fairing jettison. And there we go. All right, Nick, so that wraps up the, the first round of, of major milestones here. Uh, still very much in the middle of dynamic flight. The uh, system on the RL-10 is now in an open-loop burn-off mode to burn off excess fuel in the early portion of this burn. So walk us quickly through, Mick. What are we looking for uh, in the next in this burn and the next one? So this burn is going to end with uh, Miko uh, getting uh, Centaur and Lucy into its park orbit around Earth, and then we will then get into MESS-2. Next report dubbing by Just Go Channel.